Assalamu alaikum everybody. Uh, welcome to the fifth episode of the In The Zone series. Uh, I am Osama Naveed. And today we will be talking about the Special Technology Zones Authority, uh, how and why we came into existence, our goals and objectives, and the potential that we hold to create impact for the youth of Pakistan. We will also be shedding light on the progress that we've made so far in terms of our policies, our regulations, our operationalization. So without further ado, let's begin. Uh, for starters, I would like to uh, explain that STZA uh, is a government body established under the federal cabinet. It was an initiative by the government of Pakistan to develop the knowledge economy or a tech-driven knowledge economy with an emphasis on futuristic technologies such as artificial intelligence, uh, Internet of Things, blockchain, fintech, basically bring as many futuristic technologies and uh, innovative policies as can be for the development of the tech-driven ecosystem. Now, uh, in terms of our operationalization and our policies, since we uh, initiated, which was last year, uh, in October 2021, since our act was passed uh, in the lower and upper house. First things first, we had to figure out how to, uh, how to enable the incentives that the government had granted in terms of uh, tax exemptions, as well as uh, fiscal benefits or uh, ecosystem benefits. So in those terms, we, had, we came up with the STZA qualification and approval rules, uh, which a detailed explanation of how a license can be granted, how companies and what kind of companies can apply for an STZA license, how can we develop special technology zones across the country, all the rules and regulations that come with it. Apart from that, we also had to uh, streamline our processes for example, our licensing regulations, our fee regulations, also uh, our one window regulations, which are essentially supposed to be a revolutionary uh, productized service that we will be giving to investors that want to invest in the Pakistani tech ecosystem through STZA. And one window is a, a digital platform that will be a one-stop shop for investors that want to set up uh, zone entities that may be a zone enterprise or a zone developer, uh, depending on what kind of business model they want to apply and essentially avail in incentives from the government of Pakistan. Now, STZA is currently in the process of finalizing the product we have already signed uh, a contract with one of the biggest tech firms in Pakistan, which is Systems Limited. Apart from our policies and regulations, uh, just to dive a little deeper into the concept of what STZA is, I'll explain to you guys what model we are using or applying in terms of developing the ecosystem. So a special technology zone comprises of two entities, which is a zone enterprise and a zone developer. A zone enterprise is, can be any tech company that wants to uh, set up an office and operate from the zone. And a zone developer can be any entity that wants to construct, manage and operate a technology uh, park within the uh, defined premises of the zone. Now, in terms of our model, we are currently focused on the triple helix model of innovation, which entails that stakeholders from government, academia, and industry come together to join hands and work on the strategic objectives that we have already laid down in our uh, qualification and approval rules, such as um, job creation, uh, human capital development, uh, export growth, import substitution, technology transfer, research and development, um, majorly, these are the KPIs that we map ourselves against. And how we're achieving them is by, first of all, 
notifying special technology zones across the country. We've currently notified zones in the federal capital, uh, in KPK, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, uh, and Punjab, and potentially looking for other zones or other opportunities to develop the ecosystem in other provinces as well. We are also uh, working along the lines of operationalizing the licenses in terms of companies that have started to move into special technology zones. We've received interest from companies from across the globe. We have approximately 100 plus applicants right now and we have 500 plus in the pipeline currently. And what we aim to do is enable the incentives in a way where ease of doing business can be improved in Pakistan, cost of doing cost of doing business can be decreased in Pakistan, as well as developing futuristic technologies and innovative technologies. Now, another thing that we are as an as an authority are completely focused on is developing the startup ecosystem. As you may know, Pakistani startup ecosystem is currently or has been currently has been on the rise for the past uh, few years. And in terms of their growth and the potential they hold, their market capitalization is approximately around $1.5 billion as of right now. What we aim to do through our incentives is um, attract foreign investors or venture capital firms to invest in tech startups within the zones. And how we're doing that is we're giving incentives to venture capital firms that want to invest in zone entities and avail incentives such as uh, tax holidays on capital gains and dividends for 10 years. Apart from the startup ecosystem and venture capital firms, we also have huge incentives for companies that want to develop their own products and scale their manufacturing. For example, if you have a smartphone, if you're a smartphone manufacturer, if you're an electronics device manufacturer, what we offer is a 10 year tax holiday on customs duty for capital goods. So for example, if you're developing or if you're in the process of scaling your manufacturing to a larger or, or selling to a larger audience or exporting those goods and services, what we can do is enable you to decrease your cost of manufacturing through the STZA license. You can apply for a zone enterprise, you can apply for a zone developer. If you want to develop your own facility, it would be ideal for you to apply for a zone developer license. But if you just want to operate from an already established uh, facility, it would make sense for you to apply as a zone enterprise. So why we're here today is to ensure that our youth gets the concept of what STZA is trying to do for them. STZA aims to act as an enabler for the youth, for their transformation into knowledge workers of tomorrow. Why that is so important is because Pakistan has already missed a lot of opportunities in terms of uh, adopting or innovating or transforming their tech ecosystem with, in, with regards to new and emerging technologies. We aim to give the youth that platform to enable, to support and to facilitate their growth in terms of learning skill sets and increasing their income overall in the future. Finally, it's important for everyone to know the type of companies that we entertain in terms of the categories. For example, we offer licenses to startups, uh, small and medium enterprises, large enterprises and anchor tenants. So if you or anyone you know falls in any one of these categories, please feel free to reach out to STZA employees on LinkedIn or check out our website today and apply now.